everyone. So today's video is a really quick review on the Glaze Lip Paints by LA Girl. And I'm kind of going to go through each one, showing you guys swatches of how it looks on my lips. Just because they do look different on your lips than if you swatch them in the back of your hand. But that is with all other lip products. So yeah, as a reference, before I start giving swatches, I do have kind of a deeper tone on my lips. So these colors might look a little bit darker on me just because my lips are more red than neutral. So just a little FYI. But yeah, let's get started. So the first one that I have here is a Blushing. And this is one of the more kind of neutral shades. It's kind of a mauve pink, rosy pink kind of color. It is what I'm wearing today. I love it. I think it's really great if you're not super, super bold or anything you like to be more kind of natural and just kind of a little bit of pop of color on your lips. I think this would be amazing. Like I said, it is kind of a mauve rose color, so it's very pretty. Um, very, very pigmented, so what you see on the packaging is the product that you're going to get on your lips. So it's great, um, and it is one of the easiest ones to apply. It goes on very smooth, and you can build it up, and it's really nice. Or you can sheer it out to each its own. Alright, so the next one that I have is Pin Up, which is just a bright red. I will be completely honest with you guys, I do rather have a deeper red color, like a more, like a darker one. Deeper. Um, this one is bright, but usually I don't go for the bright reds, but I will say this one, I do like it a lot. Just like the other one, it's easy to apply, it doesn't take a lot of hassle or anything. It's nice, like I'm going to tell you guys later, I do recommend a lip liner with all of this, but still, on its own, it's very pretty. Um, yeah, so this is Pin Up, um, a bright red. If you love red, this is for you. Alright, so the next one that we have is a Daring, and this is a gorgeous, gorgeous color. It is a little bit more of a deeper mauve, kind of similar to blushing, but just deeper. In the same kind of family, but it is a little bit deeper and more kind of purpley. So if you don't like really kind of purpley lips, then stay away from this one. But it is very beautiful. Um, I love wearing purples, deep purples, plums. That is my favorite to use on my lips. So this is like this is like an everyday color for me. But you know, I'm I'm kind of crazy in the head. I do really like bold lips so yeah this is really great um not super super easy to apply just because it is deeper but once you start working with it you will be fine and it's totally worth it all right so the next color that i have is the deepest and darkest of them all and this is called tempt right yes it's called tempt this, when you swatch it in your hand, it is so dark. It's scary dark. Um, once you get it on your lips and it kind of shears out, which at first is kind of disappointing, but you can build it up. I will say this is the trickiest color to apply. When you do it at first, it's like you have a blob of a darkish purple on like one section of your lips. And then you try blending it out and it just, it's like a disaster. But once you start understanding how to work with that you will love it um when i first got it i was like oh my god this is awful but later i like it i love it i this is the one that i use the most just because it is the darkest and i love me so dark dark lips like if i can wear black on my lips every day and be totally okay i probably will but yeah i do love it it's awesome um the hardest one to apply but it's well worth your while i could be there for 30 minutes and it will be fine because i love how it looks afterwards so yeah that is tempt okay so now that you have seen the swatches of the look like i want to give you guys a little bit of mini of a review um these are great glosses um they do feel like you're applying paint to your lips that's just because they're so pigmented um, I've heard people compare it to the Melted Liquid Lipsticks by Too Faced, and um, no, they're not a dupe for them, especially because the Too Faced go on very 
they're matte or maybe a satin finish, but these are definitely glossy. Um, one thing that I can say about this is the application is not as easy as you would think, especially when you go darker. I definitely recommend that you do need to have a lip liner in order to keep like within the lines with these um, products because they can get messy so, so, so easy. It can get all over your face and knowing how dark these colors are, you don't want them all over your face because they're going to be a pain in the ass to take off. Let's just be, let's just be honest there. So they are kind of a mess to put on, so I definitely recommend lip liner. To me, it's not such a hassle because I use lip liner no matter what. Um, I've just gotten into that because it's so much more easier. Your lipstick stays on so much longer. So to me, it doesn't bother me at all. One other thing I'm going to say is they're not long, long wearing. Um, you'll apply right now, and if you don't eat or drink water, then yes, you will be fine for the next four or five hours. Because that's how long I have worn them. But um, if you are going to put them on and you're going to go out to dinner, yeah, good luck with that. Because they will come off. Um, just like any other gloss, they will come off. Obviously, it is a little bit more obvious. And that is my phone blowing up back here. Sorry about that. Ooh. Two in a row. I'm an important person. Ooh, three. Okay. Alright, okay, so what where was I at? Oh yeah, so um yeah, obviously they are glosses, so they are gonna come off once you start eating and stuff, which is fine. They will transfer too. So if you're over there kissing that boy, yeah, they're gonna transfer. Um, it all just depends if the guy does not like gloss on his lips, then yeah, don't wear this around him because they are gonna transfer. One amazing thing about them is that they're not sticky at all. And I know a lot of glosses that can become sticky like this. It's ridiculous how sticky some glosses can be. But these ones are so comfortable to have on. You don't really even feel them, but they're like super glossy and super beautiful. So overall, I do like them. They're amazing. They're so, so pigmented. They can be hard to work with, like I said, when you're applying it, especially when you go darker. It can apply a little bit splotchy. But other than that, I really like them. Totally recommend it. So I do give them about 8.5 out of 10 just because they are a little bit hard to work with like I've said throughout this whole video. But once you mastered it, you will look gorgeous. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!